Okay, so we're going to start off by pinning the hair away from the face. I bought these clips from Sally's Beauty Supply Store a while back. As you can see, my foundation, eyebrows, and one of the eyes are already completed. So, like normal, I'm going to take my MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NC35 and place that all over my lid to prime for the shadows. And if you also notice, I'm a little bit stuffy because I'm under the weather, so please don't mind that. So now I'm going to set that with my Rimmel London's Stay Matte Press Powder in Sandstorm. And then taking my NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Foundation, Powder Foundation, and Deep Golden, I'm just going to set under my brows for a more natural look. my Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette in light to medium, I'm going to mix the contour and sculpt shade and use that as my transition color. The brush that I'm using to apply it is the Anastasia Beverly Hills brush that comes with the palette, the Mono Renaissance palette. Now taking the medium to dark palette, I'm going to use that contour shade and with the same brush, I'm going to blend it a little bit lower than I did the transition shade. So now I'm going to use my Sasha Buttercup setting powder and I'm going to place a small amount under my eyes using my Real Technique sponge, and this will help prevent fallout from the shadows that I'll be using. Going into my Carly by Bell palette, using this mauve color and cranberry color, I'm going to mix them together and place it into my inner crease using my Morphe R38 brush from the Rose Gold Collection. With my MAC Studio Finish Concealer, I'm going to cut my crease. I'm not going for a bold cut crease, but more of a soft and sultry cut crease because it's still a very elegant, glammed look. Not nothing too bold. Now I'm going to spray my brush using my Mario Badescu Facial Spray and taking that second highlighter in the palette, I'm going to place that color all over my lid. Using my NYX Prismatic Shadow in 10, I'm going to place this color in the first three quarters of my lid. Taking a pencil brush, I'm going back into my Carly by Bell palette and using that cranberry color, I'm just going to further define my crease. Not too much, but just, just enough. I'm using Too Faced Sketch Marker to create a slight wing effect. What I love most about this eyeliner pen is that it gives you little room for error. Really, like a little room. Like you, it's it's just perfect. setting the rest of my face using my NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder Foundation. And let me tell you, it is definitely comparable to the Kat Von D Lock It Powder Foundation. Like, it is the truth, this foundation. And it's cheap. It's only like 10 bucks. Now, taking my Too Faced Power of Makeup by Nikki Tutorials palette, I'm mixing the two blush colors, I Will Always Love You and Justify My Love, and I'm applying it using my Morphe R5 brush, and that's also from the Rose Gold Collection. I'm going to set my face using my Mario Badescu Facial Spray. 
And then taking the highlight color in the Black Radiance light to medium palette, I'm going to highlight my face. So now taking my NYX Full Lash Mascara, I'm going to apply that to my bottom lashes. So now I'm going to line my lips and fill them in using my Jordana Cosmetics Lip Liner in Coco Loco. And the lipstick that I'm using is by L'Oreal, and it's in the color Spice Cider. And lastly, I'm going to top that using a lip gloss. I believe it's from like an old matte collection. I'm not sure it's all, all the writing is off of it, but it just made it look nice and beautiful. And then lastly, I'm taking that same eyeshadow by NYX called Tin and adding it to my inner tear duct. Okay, that's my completed holiday look. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I was having a little fumbles with my eye because it kept tearing and I had to keep readjusting it, but it came out really beautiful. So I hope you all learned something from this look. And if you want to see more holiday looks or other looks, just please comment below. And other than that, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.